Stuart K. Robinson joins us in studio to talk about the new rules of thinking. Really what I'm trying to do is give people back their dreams. You've gotten so much in the habit of just trying to survive and just trying to get the bills paid and just trying to get through each day, etc. that some of you have maybe even forgotten what that dream actually was Happy. in the first place. you got to see yourself succeeding. you got to see what you want. If you're building a house, you don't start with the blueprint. You start with picturing the see, house. See, people always say that and you think, oh, that sounds kind of crazy. Do I envision. think it's so true. You're going to transform your team into a productive, finely tuned machine. And that starts with you. Because of this perceived risk, we tell ourselves, I can't do that. I'm not good at that. That's not my strength. When it's stuff that you do every day. All three of you, you're changing lives every day. So why not start with you? Why not have the greatest day of your life by featuring <laughs> Stuart, the things? Can you come every day <laughs> and just like sit right there? Yeah. And, okay. Stuart Robinson said to me, you can quit if you want to quit. That's, that's fine, I'll help you make that transition. He said, but you know what, I'd love to see you try before you quit. You gotta get in there and do something and it changed my life. He speaks to what you need to hear and you don't even realize you need to hear it. Other people around you don't create who you are, you create who you are. And if you get up at the beginning of the day and you think my job is to sell these goods, my job is to perform these services, you're surely going to end up at the end of the day dissatisfied. But when you realize that the greater percentage of your job, of your responsibility, is an idea, and you are clear what those ideas are, you win. You're speaking to folks and they, and they hear that and that Such probably an easy resonates habit with to them. Get the reason of many people don't realize their dreams is they keep their dreams a secret. Now I'm ready to read maybe a rule every day <laughs> and start changing my life. You've got something great, because otherwise you're waiting for us to come to you with an opportunity. We don't have time for that. You need success right now. One of the things that you talk about is that you'll fire the announcer. We have a voice in our head that's talking to us. That voice tends to not speak to you very nicely. He's him. I'm the voice in his head. Welcome everybody. Oh, oh there's a lot of people here. My God. Why did Stuart call me up here to do this? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Oh my God. And I don't really know what to say next. <laughs> the second he starts talking, it like, you feel like you can only come alive and what you've been missing your whole life as dramatic as that sounds. Um, it's like he's giving you the answers. One day, and a guy came up and he said, You people have no refrigerator here. How can you have a garage sale if you have no refrigerator? And he walked away saying, You have no refrigerator. And the lady who was running the thing said, Sir, it's you who have no refrigerator. <laughs> You're the one with the refrigerator. We're just searching among you to see which refrigerator we want to use. You could be um, doing anything in your life and he will give you a direction. Anybody, doctors, lawyers, Wall Street executives, everybody needs to hear his message. And we go through this career hoping that someone will pick us. I know a lot of you say, God, I hope I get picked. I hope I go to this audition and they pick me. I hope, they, I, hope I win, I hope, etc. So what I'm going to say is that will happen once you pick yourself. Bring a confidence, bring a sense of owning, bring a sense of I am worthy to the room. You're not hoping for a favor, you're making an exchange. Don't wait for us to pick you, pick yourself.